guys. Ten Freak Seven back again with another Star Wars action figure review. Uh, this time around, we'll be doing the um, uh, the new vintage figures that Hasbro has released with the original packaging. Um, as you can see here, I'm going to be doing the Luke Skywalker Best Man Fatigue um, figure. Um, all the packaging comes with the sticker for the free Boba Fett action figure promotion. I'm going to be sending away for that very soon. Uh, I have the original vintage Boba Fett, which I'll show you. Um, how you, you can tell it's the original because there's no little button or little thing that you know launches a missile. So that you so this gives you proof that it's original. Because um, originally they were supposed to have a missile firing feature, but product safety reasons for Kenner they had to weren't able to do that. But so a few prototypes exist. Um, but there but there there weren't very many, but there are some. Um, so this is the figure I'm gonna be doing. I'll read you the back of the card, right there. I'll show you probably. Later. Celebrate the legendary Star Wars saga that changed the universe forever. The collection brings to life the incredible story of good versus evil that captured our imagination and took us to a galaxy far, far away. Iconic Star Wars heroes and villains are captured with the incredible detail and premium features on the commemorate to commemorate sorry, each epic tale in the Star Wars saga. May the force be with you. And on the back it has the original card with the original figure inside. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of the figure itself. This is probably the sixth or tenth take I've done. This is the first time I've actually get, got to the figure itself. I'm still I've got to get on the packaging. But anyway, about that. Um, the figure itself is just incredible. Um, you got the two lightsabers, one with the sword ignited and one with it not. Also got the little pistol, which um, uh, is very hard to see because when you when you get the figure itself, it's in the holster, so... Um, so it's very hard to see, you know, you know, you think, uh, you know, it would be kind of stupid if, you know, they they had the figure, you know, if they sent it out with a little holster and there was no pistol in it. I think that'd be kind of stupid. I think what they sh Hasbro should have done, you know, maybe put the pistol in like one of those little holders, like they put the weapons in so people could see, oh, he comes with the pistol. So that's, that's just my opinion, but anyway, um, the figure's very, very cool. It's just the detail looks just incredible. They got everything down to the hair and everything, which I just love. Um, here's the pistol he comes with. It's a pistol that he uses on Dagobah when he Yoda scares the crap out of him. I like that. Um, it comes with his famous lightsaber, or Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber, as we later see in the um, uh, prequel trilogy. So it's this ignited one, and the unignited sword, which has a little hook for a belt loop on it, so you can put it on like you just got to Bespin before he starts fighting Vader. Now, articulation, bendable knees, bendable feet, swivel waist, you can move them up and down. Um, you can bendable elbows, swivel wrists, as well as the hands, uh, bendable shoulders, 360 degree head, all jointed, I think. Um, He's pretty darn cool. I like him. Luke's one of my favorite characters from the original trilogy. Um, along with Wedge. He's pretty darn cool. I like Wedge. He's awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Hasbro did a just, does just incredible jobs with these new figures. It's like, wow, it's so cool. You're going to hear some... some you're going to hear some probably hear some beeping in the background. That's my mom working with her camera. Got some stuff to do. She, she's still working with her laptop and she just got Facebook, so she's trying to help her out with that. Um, so the figure's pretty darn cool. I like it. It's got the little holster for the gun. So you can know, put the gun in there. Um, and then you just pop it out. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's all I can say pretty much for the figure. Stay tuned. I'm going to have, um, uh, more figures soon. I'll probably be doing four Lom next. I'm probably just going to reverse order I got them in, from newest to oldest. Um, I'm going to be getting the Cloud Car very soon, and the Pilot as well, and hopefully maybe Princess Leia later today. Um, so, yeah, this is Kenner Freak 7. Keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.